<coughs> what you saw as the possibilities of uh, North Nashville opening up in terms of an economic revitalization. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about uh, uh, that and within the framework of using the uh, merger as mm -hmm. part of that revitalization. What have you found, and let's say as much as you possibly would like to say this morning, about how the merger might be able to fit into that. Uh, you played a very, very important part in that. Whole well, I think what the merger does, obviously, is that uh, it, by, by moving the base of the city's operations, uh, uh, hospital operations, over to North Nashville and combining that with uh, uh, some of the things we do in the health department to make a whole health delivery system, I really think it puts a very strong anchor in that part of the, uh, in that part of the city. Um, the Harry itself, uh, combined with Fisk, makes a nice island of uh, university and college, uh, college campus there. And um, my hope is that as that develops and as it grows uh, uh, and it's successful and people come to it, it really helps in the economic development of the area. You can look at a place like, uh, I don't know, Baptist Hospital and see all the business that has grown up and the development that's occurred in that area because of a successful anchor like that. And my hope would be that uh, that's what happens, uh, that kind of same, same sort of thing happens in North Nashville as well around the Meharry campus. Very good. I think uh, there have been uh, some other entrepreneur uh, activities. Uh, uh, more specifically, I think the uh, Dollar General store has uh, decided to uh, relocate one of its operations in public housing and whatnot. Let's talk about how that came about and how you see not only Dollar General Store playing that part, but perhaps some other organizations and corporations can also have the same kind of social responsibility. Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of that, that whole operation, and, uh, and I can say that because I wasn't really a key player in making it happen. It's something that happened in the community. Uh, my wife, Andrea Conte, was certainly one, one of the people who got it going, and a gentleman named Bill Weaver, and, uh, and Cal Turner, who's the president of Dollar General, is the one who really, uh, really stepped up to the plate. The idea was basically to take a, uh, a project area, Sam Levy mm -hmm. Homes, and, um, and uh, put in it a Dollar General store. Uh, that would be good news in itself because a lot of people who live in these areas don't have access to fairly priced uh, goods. Uh, but I think the most exciting thing about it is that store will be operated and run uh, by the residents of that particular housing development, uh, including the management of the store. Uh, and all the profits from the store will be plowed back into training and plowed back into that, that community. So I think that's a really a far-sighted thing on the part of Dollar General to have made that investment in the area, and I hope there's a lot of other companies that will step up to doing uh, doing similar kinds of things. Well, how have you found, Amir, uh, They and we hear a lot now about corporate responsibility and whatnot, and as a person who uh, has responsibility of dealing with large uh, corpor corporations and whatnot, how have you found their responsibility to be over the last several years? Uh, have you noticed any kind of change? I don't know as I've noticed a uh, as I've noticed a change. I think uh, you probably have the same distribution in corporations that you do in people. You have some people who do anything mm -hmm. in the world to make the community a better place, and others who don't care. Mm -hmm. And um, the same is you know I think true of businesses of, of any size. But we certainly have some corporations in town that really have stepped up to trying to help in uh, in some of these areas. Um, um, both HCA and Baptist Hospital have made some enormous contributions towards this AIDS clinic that we're trying to uh, trying to put together. Obviously, Dollar General and what it's done in that area is, uh, uh, as we were just talking about, is is important. And uh, a lot of other a lot of other companies have stepped up. I wish everyone, mm -hmm. corporate or individual, would find some project that they wanted to work on for the good of the uh, for the good of the city. That's my goal. As a matter of fact, I think uh, the fact of the AIDS clinic will bring me uh, to one of the topics that I think uh, we ought to talk about, and that has to do with health care. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that people understand your reputation as a person involved in uh, health care activity uh, long before you became involved as uh, the uh, mayor of Nashville. Let's talk about health care, mm -hmm. and uh, more specifically, let's talk about the AIDS clinic, because mm -hmm. recently Ms. Uh, Sherry Wood was in from Nashville Cares, and she was talking about uh, the uh, uh, reluctance on the part of cities and whatnot to do something about this disease, yet Nashville has. Let's talk about that. Oh, I think Nashville has a project underway which literally can be a model for the, for the nation. You know, we think of ourselves here, and I think rightly so, as a, a center of health care excellence in the United States, and certainly health care innovation. Uh, with the attention that's been given to for-profit health care, the uh, research that goes on at the two medical schools in town and the like. Um, about a year ago, I got together just a, a mayor's task force and told them, look, we have this crisis coming. It's not an enormous problem in Nashville today, AIDS, but it's clearly coming down the road. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, let's figure out as a community how we're going to begin dealing with this. The idea they came up with was a centralized clinic which could handle patients, both indigent and those with insurance, uh, could um, in an essence, use the profits on those with insurance to help fund the care for those who for those who don't have it, and to uh, to do it in a way that was part of the medical mainstream, that it wasn't just something tucked off over here into a far corner of the community. Um, the Baptist Hospital uh, stepped up and uh, made available some space that uh, that they had in a building. Uh, HCA is helping with uh, getting some of the covenants changed on the building and uh, and with that support and the support of a lot of doctors and other medical professionals I think we're gonna have a model uh, AIDS clinic that will serve everyone from the multi-millionaire multi-millionaires to uh, to completely indigent people and uh, and and treat them all very well and very fairly very good you think that